Hey, David Bruce here on location at HTC Creative Labs, looking to get the inside scoop. All right, well, Drew, I know that this is a really big thrill for you to talk to me, and uh, you're welcome. I'm, I was more than glad to come down here at your request. HTC Creative Labs is kind of a new thing. We're super excited to bring HTC experiences to more people. We want to go beyond smartphones to new categories of connected products. HTC Creative Labs is a combination of lots of different types of people who are creating HTC's future. So we kind of, we have this end-to-end -end collection of people that can take everything from a concept written on a whiteboard to production. Zoe is a really cool project. Our concept was zero editing. We didn't want people to have to do anything. You'd go into your gallery, you'd have this video that's already there. And it evolved into something we called highlight videos, which turned out to be one of our most popular features ever. People love the highlight video. They really have to do very little and they get this thing that's got really high production values. It's emotional because it has a soundtrack. We saw that people wanted to be able to more easily share these things and also to get content from other people to put into their highlight video. Right. And we think for Zoe to be very powerful as a community, it needs to reach more people. So we're excited to bring it to other Android devices right now and very soon on iOS and the App Store. We think that's going to be a watershed moment. How do you describe Sense at this point? Most of our customers, if they've heard of it, they probably think it's the home screen. I think some Just people think it's the clock. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe they <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's right. I've been on a crusade for seven years to convince people that, oh, actually, Sense includes our mail app and our calendar right. app. There's a lot of stuff in the phone that is part of HTC Sense. Some people have made mention that maybe current iteration of Sense or as Sense has evolved that it's lighter than competitive user experiences out there. Do you agree with that assessment? That's been a very controversial area. I'm about it, bringing up the controversial issues, awesome. Drew. This is hard-hitting investigative journalism it's going on really here. Yeah. here. Yeah. For me, it's an interesting comment when people say that the newer versions of Sense are lighter. Um, because there's this implication that we're somehow doing less, but that's actually not the case. There's more functionality, in fact, in every version of Sense. This is technology. What is, what's next? I can tell you we're working on wearables. Okay. Uh, so that's very exciting. But yeah, we want to sure. do them right. So we're not ready to release it yet. I sent Peter an email. I haven't heard back. Maybe like a, uh, a cummerbund that displays your text messages. Excellent idea. You We've also looked at bolo pretend. ties. Okay, bolo tie. It's a bolo tie camera, obviously. Oh, oh, of course, yeah. And, and maybe like you take a picture camera. like this? Yeah. For the hardcore HTC fans out there, a lot of speculation around the infamous 1008 time. 1008 time. 1008 time. It's almost become yes. a bit of mythology within HTC, I have to say. Here's the things that I've heard before. <laughs> you know, we released the world's first Android phone in October of 2008. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is, is there any validity to this? It's a little bit like the X-Files, you know? I don't think you'll ever really know. Wow, okay. I mean, there are a lot of factors involved. Okay, I'm here with David Fulci, our manager of user experience design. David, welcome. Thank Appreciate you, thank you joining you. us. I have yeah. to notice that I feel a little uncomfortable, like I don't fit into the cool design world here. I don't have my all black outfit on. That's okay, that's yeah. the intention. Okay, to make me stand out. I know one kind of mark of like determining design talent is like the ability to draw a perfect circle. I think yeah. we should maybe have circle off. Uh, a little eggy. Okay, yeah. it's a little eggy. All right. Let's see. Well, speaking of eggs, you just laid one there. All right, see what she got. It. Oh, look at oh, me. Oh, look I'm at this. Drew, big show off. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right, big deal. And by the way, Drew, a little rude that you had to make yours so much bigger than ours. I haven't worked in design. I have no experience and no credibility. Uh, I actually think I have a lot of powerful ideas that you guys should listen to. I'm thinking a shutter button. Right in the middle. Right here. Right here, we have, you know, selfie button. How are you feeling about this design? Do you think it's like probably perfect? And then maybe make the face live makeup slider a little bit bigger, something like this. Okay. I think this would be good, but uh, the thing that I would actually probably do on here is like just put something like this and then we'll put a little thing right there. Man, I hope the competition yeah. is not watching this. Yeah. I was actually tasked recently with upgrading one of our older devices and imbue it with some of our new features. It's like probably perfect. I don't know if you guys are impressed here, but that we added crazy. we added boom sound. We have a duo camera experience on the back here. And then check this out. This oh, is something yeah. that I... Oh. oh. So David, I was talking to Drew earlier trying to get a little inside scoop on the mythical 1008 time. You always see it on our phones, on our phones. 
he would give me nothing. So tell me, what's the deal? So do you remember the loss? David. Oh, David. yeah, yeah, We got yeah. We really got to get yeah. to, uh, gotta get to a meeting. Sorry, uh, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm really sorry. That yeah. one, check out loss.